Right, the van's an absolute mess at the moment. I've got tools everywhere. Um, I'm just pulling things together. So, uh, let's see where we are. Right, my diesel heater's in. Here's my diesel. It looks a bit messy. I've got to tie it all up. It's in, it's working. Um, it's just down there. Can you see the heater in there? There's the pump. It's all got to be tied in fixing him properly. It's with diesel tank, um, fuel filter, everything works. When I first turned it on, <coughs> uh, there was just tons of smoke. <laughs> watched loads of videos but no one has said that obviously there's a bit of oil residue in that inside and it just like puffs out tons of smoke as it's cleaning itself out but since then it's been fine um, when I mounted the diesel heater I don't know if you can see it through there it's on a bracket now this bracket to raise it up this bracket is especially it's a purpose that's a purpose built bracket. I'll stick a link in the description. Um, it's only a tenner. People raise them up in all sorts of things like little table legs and stall legs and whatever. But um, that seemed to work fine. It's all bolted in nicely, easy to get to. Uh, right, let's see the other thing. Batteries, I've got my battery bank in. Just doing a bit more wire into it. Let's have a look. There's my batteries, so I've got two, two 130 amp hour AGM batteries. That's some serious power. So I'm tidying the wiring up at the moment. I've got a uh, um, fuse box, isolator switch. This is my C-Tech uh, split charge relay and solar charge controller. Um, combined <coughs> and like the van's a right mess look. let's go around the other side so inside the van it's like the front of the van here's my controller for the uh, diesel heater that's got to be mounted up on the wall somewhere get that mounted so there's some big jobs that have happened I just haven't had time to make a video because I've just been on the go, you know, what with doing the van, sorting the house out, going to work, doing all the personal stuff as well outside of that. It's just, it's hard to get your head around it all. But um, once I'm out of the house and I'm in the van full time, which is going to be very soon, I've got to be out of the house in four weeks. So um, once I'm out, and I'm full time in the van, I won't have to work so many hours, I won't have to work so much and I won't have to um, do so many other things that I also do outside of work um, and I'll have much more time to potter around with the van, I'm just trying to get it livable at the moment so that at least I can move into it, there's a few little finishing touches I've had to take the panels back down from the top of the walls while I'm running some more wires um, <clears throat> So that's where I am. But the good news is, right? And this is a this is a uh, this has happened since my last video. The good news is, um, took the van for an MOT last week. Passed, went straight through. Excellent news. I'm all right for another year. And the other big news is, it is now being changed over with the DVLA. So it is now motor caravan. So I've had the logbook back from DVLA, it is now officially a motor caravan. It was all a bit touch and go to get it all compliant because I was coming up to the MOT being due and the insurance being due. I didn't want to insure it as a van, then get it changed over, then have to change insurance. So I wanted it all done and dusted uh, before I did the insurance. So that was, that was all done. Uh, 
done all the photographs, sent them all off. <clears throat> Got the logbook back quite quickly. It's now a motor caravan. Then I insured it as, as a motor caravan, which was a lot cheaper. Um, so, um, yeah, so happy with that. Uh, what else with the van? I'm in the process of sorting out some curtains. Just going to have a curtain across the front cab, curtain across the door. Um, that's all I need for now. Oh, and I'd like to thank I'd like to thank Rob if you're watching, Rob. Um, Rob sent me some details. He emailed me some details of a friend of his who can make cushion covers. Um, this was around Easter time. Uh, now I didn't I didn't phone him up because I had so much going on at the time, but I recently found um, a really local firm that have done them really reasonable. So the, the cushions are now the seat cushions are now at the upholsterers where they're, they're putting the covers on for me. Um, so yeah, I didn't have to contact your mate, but thanks anyway, Rob. I really appreciate it. It's really nice of you to to give me that contact. Um, so yeah, the cushion. I'm going to have the cushions being covered. So uh, that's all going to be good. Just trying to get everything together for me to move in. The final big job on the van is going to be the solar. Um, I've got the solar panels. I've looked at loads of different ways. Oh, hang on, I need some tea. Oh, suit you, sir. I've looked at loads of different ways of mounting them. I do like the way Greg Virgo's mounted his. He's used like a uh, uni, uni track, whatever it's called, unifix track along the gutter in and put the fixings in that way. That's really good because it keeps the, keeps the solar panels low. Um, I've got two panels going up there. And I've decided, I think I'm going to mount them on, I've got two roof bars, so I think I'm going to mount them on roof bars. I'll go for that first, uh, see how high they are. If they're too high, then I'll, I'll go down a different route. But uh, I've got most of the stuff now ready to fix them on. My mate will have to come and give me a hand. But uh, yeah, um, that's the last big job. So I'm going to have 200 and... 200 and no, I'm going to have 320 watts of solar power on the roof and 260 watts battery bank. So I should be able to be off grid for a while, even in even in the winter time, in the shitty weather when the sun ain't out much. I, I should be able to be off grid for a little while, and I haven't got to be off grid for that long. Although I'm going to be full time in the van, um, every now and again I could park up at a friend's or or my daughter's place plug into the electric, charge everything up and off I go again. So I'm hoping, I, I, I mean you you van dwellers that are doing it now, you full timers that are doing it now, will know much better than me but um, it obviously depends on what your power consumption is. I haven't got a microwave in here. Um, yeah, I've got my gas cooker. Boiled, boiled my first my first kettle of water the other day, have a look. Historic moment guys, the first time I'm boiling a kettle on my camper van stove. And you are here to witness it. Tea's up. So I've boiled my first kettle of water. Um, um, yeah, I haven't got a microwave um, or any high. Actually, there's a couple of things I might need to plug in. I haven't got an inverter yet. Um, everything you buy, and it's not just about vans, but everything you buy now, um, it just takes weeks to decide what to, to find out anything and 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 try and find what's the best one. I remember years ago when it's like when I built my first telly. Um, years ago, you, you walked in a shop and you said, "I want to buy a telly." Basically, it was what size and do you want a grey one or a black one? You know, 
and black and white or colour. That, that, that was it, really. You had very, there was a few in there. You might have had five or six different tellies to choose from. <clears throat> now, everything, without exception, everything that exists on the planet, you know, there are thousands of options. And I, I just don't know. I, I don't know. There's no... Every, and because there are so many options, and because there are so many people buying these types of things, when you go on reviews now, everything, whether it's really good or really shit, everything has good and bad reviews. So you cannot even tell now by looking at reviews. Um, when they when they score these things like five uh, out of five five stars, um, if it's got four stars, it'll have a thousand sales. If it's got um, two stars, you know, or if it's got two stars, they would have had a thousand sales. But if it's got five stars, they might have had four four sales and you, you just can't tell you, you can't you'd have to be a mathematician to work out <clears throat> what the risk is in buying this product based on how many people have bought it what they're using it for how many times they've used it um, you know all sorts of, of equations come into looking at reviews and it's a it's a minefield online now it's a minefield so if anyone can suggest a good make of inverter, I'm looking at probably a 1500 watt inverter with a 3000 watt peak pure sine wave inverter. And there's, a, there's another thing, you get these reviews. And some people say, oh, I've tested, I, I don't know why they've bought one and they've got, they've got 500 quid's worth of testing equipment. But like, oh, I've tested it and it's not a pure sine, it's, it's a modified sine wave. And I don't know. I don't know. So, if anyone, you know, if so, if one of you guys say to me, I've got an inverter, 1500 watt, you know, pure sine wave inverter, I've had it for a year or two years, works perfectly fine, never had an issue, that's good enough for me. But, um, I do, not, I do need to know, and I'm probably not going to get inundated now. And what's going to happen now is there'll be 200 comments about inverters all different brands <laughs> so you can't win can you um but yeah that's what i'm, I'm looking for one and i, I don't know you know I'll take a chance i suppose um yeah i'm not going to buy one in 30 quid ebay jobbies because that's probably is asking for trouble um so that's where i am really i mean at the end when i've done the build properly although I should probably be in it before I finish it. Um, I'll then do a proper walk round of the of the van because the outside's got to be done as well now. The outside's the right state. I've got rust, surface rust I've got to do. There's loads of dents in the van where it used to be a parcel van. So I've got to find some sort of dent puller and go round and just put all the little dents out. And then I would love to have it repainted. I would really love to have it repainted. Um, so there's all those things for the future. But yeah, so at the moment, my battery bank's in, all my electrics are up and running, um, my me, me diesel heater's in, which is lovely. My cushions are being recovered, ready to come in. Got my mattress, my cooker's up and running and working, my water's in. Um, uh, got to find an inverter, got to get some curtains up. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can start moving stuff into the van in the next few weeks because, like I say, I've got to be out of the house in four weeks. Um, I think by the 14th of June, somewhere like that, we'll go and see the solicitor this afternoon and get that all sorted out. So, that's where I am. I hope you lot are well. Um, I watched the, the, some videos from the Camp Quirky look quite good and also from the um, off-grid weekend everyone went to uh, that looked good fun 
where they had a bake off. <laughs> had to, uh, a Ridge Monkey bake off with um, making uh, apple pie. And I think it was Pip, Worm's Eye View, she, she cooked an apple crumble in a Ridge Monkey. And of course, when you turn it all over, it just all goes together. But everyone seems to like that one. Um, so yeah, I've got my Ridge Monkey. Um, I haven't used it in here yet. It's been used, but I haven't used it in here yet. So I'm going to be cooking with that. Um, that's it really. There's not really much more to say at the moment. Um, yeah, I've got to insulate and cover the back doors and the side door. But um, that I don't need to do that to move into the van. So I'm just concentrating on what I need to do to move into the van. So... Uh, that's me lot. I'll give you another update soon, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be... I mean, once I'm in the van, I can get some videos uploaded um, talking crap, basically. Which people seem to love, don't they? They love a bit of crap. All these, like, uh, reality shows. Oh, Jeremy Kyle. What about that? That's sad, isn't it? The guy killed himself. But, uh, yeah, the reality shows people really like. And, um... And I suppose van life, YouTube, vlogging, it's a reality show, isn't it? Right, let's crack on, finish my tea, have a vape, do a few bits in the van, and then go down and sort the house out. I'll catch you later, everyone. Speak to you soon. Have a good day.